In this calculation for N5 electrotechniques, we'll be looking at an example to calculate the number of compensating windings turns per pole. Now, just to give you some background uh, to define commutation, commutation is the reversal of EMF and current when transferring from one segment to the next. So if you have a look at my diagram, you'll see that currently segments one and five are making contact with the brushes. And as the commutator turns, we have uh, segments eight and four making contact, segments seven and three making contact, segments six and two making contact, and then it goes back to segments five and one. So as the commutator turns from one segment to the next, it causes a commutation, which is the reversal of EMF and current inside the commutator. Now, the negative effects of commutation are sparking and damage to the commutator surface. And the methods to reduce the effects of commutation include increasing brush contact resistance. And for example, using carbon brushes will help to increase the contact resistance. We can also shift the brushes from the geometric neutral axis to the magnetic neutral axis. For uh, motors, we will shift the brushes backwards, and for generators, we will shift the brushes forwards. We can also use interpoles, which are smaller poles found in between the main poles. And then finally, we can also use compensating windings, which brings us to our example today. Compensating windings are windings slotted inside the pole shoes and the current through the uh, compensating windings are connected in series to the armature conductors. Uh, just to show you the difference between pole pitch and pole arc, pole pitch is the distance between the centers of the main poles and pole arc is the length of the pole face around the armature. And the face of a pole has two sides to it. Right, for our formulas to calculate the armature ampere turns per pole, it is a half times I over C times Z over 2P. To calculate the compensating windings ampere turns per pole, it is a half times I A over C times Z over 2 times P. And then we multiply by the ratio of the pole arc and pole pitch. Right, in this example, 1.8 on page 30 of our textbook, it reads as follows, a 125 kilowatt, 500 volt, 12 pole series generator has a lap wound armature with 1,800 conductors. If the pole face covers 72% of the entire circumference, calculate the number of pole face conductors of a compensating winding in each pole. So first of all, just to uh, demonstrate to you, this is a series generator. Okay, if it's a generator, it is delivering electrical load and therefore supplying armature current. And we have some current passing through the series winding. So very important for a series circuit, IL equals IA, which equals ISE. And we have a 12 pole um, generator. Now let's look at all the information given. So first of all, the uh, output power of the machine is 125,000 watts with a terminal voltage of uh, 500 volts. Okay, uh, it is lap wound, therefore C is equal to 2 times P. Um, it is 12 poles, so it's going to be 2 times 6 which is equal to 12. There are 1,800 conductors, so Z is equal to 1,800. And uh, what else do we have here? P is the number of pole pairs, which is gonna be six. Now for a generator, it is uh, mechanical in, so it's power in and power out. So for generators, we use the output power for our calculators. And then just in terms of the pole arc uh, and pole pitch ratio, okay, so pole arc over the pole pitch as a ratio, and that ratio is 0, 
seven two. All right, let's move on to the different steps that we're going to follow to solve this problem. So first of all, to uh, calculate the armature ampere turns per pole, it's a half times I A over C times Z over two P. Now to calculate I A, remember I said earlier that I A is equal to I L. So to calculate I L, we for generators we use the output power. So it's power at over voltage. So it's 125,000 watts divided by the voltage of 500 volts. So therefore, the uh, supply current is going to be 250 amperes, which is also the same as the armature current. All right, let's substitute everything in here. So we have a half. The armature current is uh, 250. Uh, the number of parallel paths is going to be 12. And Z, the total number of armature conductors, 1,800 over 2 times the number of pole pairs, which is 6. Therefore, the number of armature ampere turns per pole is 1,562,5 ampere turns. Right, the next step is to calculate the compensating winding ampere turns per pole. And to do this, it is the armature ampere turns per pole multiply by the pole arc and pole pitch ratio. So we've already calculated the armature ampere turns per pole. It was 1,562,5 multiplied by the ratio of 0, 0,72 because it covers 72% of the circumference of the pole face. And the answer we get there is 1,125 ampere turns per pole. Now, in the next step, we want to calculate the compensating winding turns per pole. So to do this, we need to eliminate the armature current. So we take the compensating winding turns, ampere turns per pole, which is 1,125, divided by the armature current of uh, 250. So we end up with 4,5 compensating winding turns per pole. Okay, now the last step is to actually work out the number of conductors per pole. And to do this, uh, we take the compensating winding turns per pole of four and a half, and we multiply by the two sides of the pole face. And so therefore, there are nine conductors per pole. Right, thanks guys for watching this video for N5 Electrotechniques.